Well, good evening, and thank you for for joining me at for this for this time of Compline. This is such a, a very old service, and if you were, um, I think in our contemporary uh, liturgy, it's often referred to as uh, night prayers. And uh, but anyway, this is sort of the the old traditional form, and we can find it in uh, the Book of Common Prayer on page 722, and uh, anglican.ca, I always tell you, I, that's how you can get a, a, a hard copy without purchasing one, and um, this, these, these prayers are just kind of, be quite invited to just allow them to move you, to uh, come to you like a gentle rain, um, I let them to just kind of sink in and there should be there should be no agenda at the end of at the end of a day I think in, except to be able to let go and sort of bundle up all that which went on in the day and just to just to let it go let it to go and let it to be with God and uh, and in that letting go there's always counter movements right as, as the letting go happens, the settling and the calm and the peace that passes all understanding, uh, which is of course God's gift, is, uh, is, is ready for us. And some people will use, um, turn to these prayers you know, when it's two o'clock in the morning and they can't sleep and so instead of just fretting, they'll maybe make themselves a, a glass of milk and uh, hot milk and just sit with with these calming letting go prayers surrendering prayers they um and the more we the more we become familiar with that let down the more um i i think the more benefit that we end up gaining um one of the funny things, I've always kind of thought of a funny thing about our spiritual lives. When we are young, our life is all about gaining control and gaining mastery of, you know, when we're really little, of our bodies. And then intellectually, as we get older, and we, um, so we, we're kind of on that upward ascent. But in our, but development in our spiritual lives goes the other direction. It's about letting go. It's about surrender. It's about trusting. And I always thought that was kind of a, an interesting juxtapositioning, that physically, intellectually, we 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 seek control, but spiritually, we we learn to live uh, live and let go. And that's um, that's a, a wonderful tension to be able to have a, you know, an, an intellect, a mindfulness, um, a kind of a, an understanding what's going on, but then ultimately know that it is all in God's hands. To know that all of that development, that upward development, mastery, uh, is all because God has hardwired us for that. We don't, there's nothing that happens in any of the created order that God has, has not um, placed within us to be able to become all that which God seeks us to be. And if we, and if we keep our eyes on God and our focus on God, then that trajectory um, stays um, stays unaltered, stays the way it's supposed to uh, stay, uh, stay. And our intention becomes uh, clear. And our intention is God. And uh, hopefully by always kind of tipping back into those prayers, morning, evening, late evening, which of course is Compline, that just keeps the compass on north. God is north. 
um, because it's really easy to get things off course really, really fast. Um, really, really easy for the, for the ego to kind of sneak in and steal, I, I hope that's not too harsh, to steal that which belongs to God. And, um, and the only way we can um, be aware is, is to stay very attuned, to stay, um, keep our spiritual life sensitive uh, to that, um, to those movements that are going on within us. So that's why so many of our prayers say that, you know, they're, uh, they, they sound so, um, you know, in the morning prayer, we'll talk about miserable sinners and you go, oh my gosh, I'm not a miserable sinner. <laughs> But, but sin is that which separates us from God. And sometimes there's very good things going on in our life, but those things, when they're not put under God's umbrella, are not ultimately used to God's glory, um, become the very thing that, that can block us uh, from God. And it's not that you know, they're wrong in and of themselves. Of course, they're fine. Um, but learning how to, um, to, to, to keep God at, as that center, the, the north in our lives, if you want to use the metaphor of the compass. And, uh, and that's really what, what worship is, um, to give God God's own worth. And in worship, we do it intentionally, but we, it's not supposed to stop at the end of the worship service. It's supposed to help us through the rest of our lives until we come to worship again to, to keep, uh, keep our eyes focused and uh, on our heart focused and our, our seeking um, focus and our what, after we do a lot of seeking before we know it, we have longing, and that's another level of spiritual uh, um, spiritual intent. Anyway, so tonight we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I am Reverend Dr. Gail Marie Henderson, and I am the incumbent of the Anglican Parish of Muskoka Lakes. I, um, I'm on faculty at Dornow University a School of Theology in Sudbury, and I am also um, an associate at the Sisters of St. John the Divine, and I've been an associate for, for all, just over 30 years. Well, that's a long time. Long, long time. So anyway. So we begin, and this was on page 722. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I thought we would uh, follow the, uh, the psalm, the psalms that are uh, listed in the rubrics. And uh, 1991 is on uh, Psalm 91. is on page 448 and many of you will know the piece of music called on eagle's wings it is a it is a piece of it is a piece of music that is based on psalm 91 and it has a struck a chord across all denominations and that's i think just a wonderful uh, a wonderful thing when that happens. So often when I read, um, not when I read it, I pray it. I must always, my heart praises. See, we're all learning. 
um, I could hear the tune in, in my in, in my ear in my head and uh, it, it's kind of fun it just kind of the, the tune just breaks in so I, I do hope you uh, know the hymn if you don't it would not be difficult to uh, find on YouTube I'm sure you could just uh, search on Eagle's Wings and I am pretty sure you're going to be able to find lots of different versions of it. I hope so anyway. So this is on page 448 and there are 16 uh, verses. Whosoever dwelleth under the defense of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, Thou art my refuge and my stronghold my God in whom I will trust. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunter and from the uh, noisome pestilence. He shall defend thee under his wings and if thou shalt be safe under his feathers. His faithfulness is a shield and a buckler Thou shalt not be afraid for any terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the sickness that destroyeth in the noonday. A thousand shall fall beside thee, and ten thousands at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Yea, with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the ungodly. Because thou hast said, The Lord is my refuge, and has made the Most High thy habitation, there shall no ever evil happen unto thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over them, to keep them in all thy ways. They shall bear thee in their hands, that thou hurt not thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under thy feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him up because he has known my name. He shall call upon me and I will hear him. Yea, I am with him in trouble. I will deliver him and bring him to honor. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. And glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Is so beautiful. And from Jeremiah. Thou, O Lord, art in the midst of us, and we are called by thy name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. Maybe that, these comforting words. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and I am lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Isn't that interesting? When we began with the sentence that ends with seeking a perfect end, I think these this prayer on our lips would be a perfect end. It'd be a perfect end for me anyway. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit, for thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, 
O God of truth, I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. This is a poem that has actually been put forth as a hymn. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, I pray. Thou with thy wanton favor, thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams, defend our eyes from nightly fears and fantasies. Tread underfoot our ghostly foes, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, our only Son. Woe well, with the Holy Ghost in thee, doth live and reign eternally. Amen. Keep us as the apple of an eye. Hide us under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, waking and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. And the Dunk Dumbitis. Let us pray. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people, Israel. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Preserve us, O Lord, waking, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen Deliver us from evil. I think that's what the cross and the resurrection was the answer to that plea. Blessed art thou, Lord God, of our fathers and our mothers, to be praised and glorified above all forever. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sanctifier. Let us praise him and magnify him forever. Blessed art thou, O Lord, in the firmament of heaven, to be praised and glorified above all forever. The Almighty and the most merciful Lord grant us and give us his blessing. Amen. We confess to God Almighty, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, that we have sinned in thought, in word, and in deed, through our most, through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins, and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and bring us to life everlasting. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, Amen. And may the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, 
time for amendment of life and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wilt thou, wilt thou not again, wilt thou not turn again and quicken us, awaken us, that thy people may rejoice in thee? O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us. O Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come unto thee. And then the collect. This one that I find so complete. If you look at your book, there's a there's a colon. We first um, we first pray about eternal life, and then there's a colon, and then um, flowing from that, uh, flowing from that eternal life, then God touches the spirit. It comes within us to to spark our minds, to spark our prayers to be the, the catalyst within us that is always pointing us north towards God to an ever closer walk uh, with God. So that's, what, that's why I think this is such a complete prayer for Easter. Almighty God, who through thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, has overcome death and opened us to us the gate of everlasting life, we humbly beseech thee that as by thy special grace thou dost put into our minds good desires, so by thy continual help we may bring the same to good effect. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I often have an, uh, I use my imagination and I think of the doors of heaven flung open and the light that flows from heaven is, is flowing um, all the way straight to our hearts. And uh, it's not like a two-step process or anything. I think, it's, I think it's just, I think it's always been there. And, uh, and we get to live in that light. We get to breathe in that light and that life. We can turn it down. We can reject it. We can say no. We do have free will. That was part of the how God made us was to have free will. We're not we're not puppets. And uh, so many people find walking by faith just so difficult, um, intellectually difficult, and I always feel kind of sad about that. Um, anyway, those are those things I guess we pray about our burdens. So we're going to go back to the our Compline. Okay, and this is a colic for protection. Prayers for protection. Visit, we beseech thee, O Lord, this place, and drive from it all the snares of the enemy. Let thy holy angels dwell herein to preserve us in peace. And may thy blessing be upon us evermore. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord. And by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior. Jesus the Christ. Amen. Look down, O Lord, from thy heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with thy celestial brightness. And from the sons and the daughters of light, banish the deeds of darkness. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and the chances of this fleeting world may repose, may rest upon thy eternal changelessness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I seem to do a lot of um, chatting about about Compline being the um, it doesn't just invite surrender and letting go but it it helps us to embody that that action that physical action of, of letting go and this last petition is it makes it very clear that when we when we let go when we surrender it we're, we're not surrendering into a vacuum it, it's not like a big black hole that we're that we're willing to jump into what we are jumping into and what what we will find and what and the one who will catch us um, is, is, is God himself. It is the eternal changelessness that we are giving ourselves over and into. And I think sometimes we who, who walk by faith, or at least try to walk by faith, um, I think we sometimes say things and we forget to complete our thoughts. Um, I think I do that. I don't mean to do it. Um, I om it's like I assume everybody knows what's going on in my head and of course that's that's not true and I should be more intentional about finishing um, finishing some of those uh, uh, those religious thoughts theological thoughts um, faith filled thoughts so here we are at the bottom of page 727. We will lay down in peace and we will take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. The Lord be with you and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Creator, Redeemer, Sanctifier. Bless and preserve us. Amen. So be it. Sleep well this night, and God bless.